and welcome to Ham's Pokemon and today I finally have got my hands on the Forbidden Light Elite Trainer Box. Um, really pleased to get this. Uh, I did actually change my supplier this time. I normally... I, the company that I usually go with over the top TCG, when I went onto their website on the 20th, I think it was like the 22nd or 20th of April, didn't actually have any Forbidden Light product up for purchase yet and so um, I decided to go with a different company uh, because of that um, so I went with a CCG Castle which is a, a company that Pokemon Evolutionaries go with a lot and they offer like 5% off as well, 5% code. Um, so I decided to go with that and get, I think I got about 6 or $7 off the total. So I thought it would be uh, be worth it. And, and they've got the product to me pretty quick, to be fair. So it's um, now Saturday, the 5th. Um, this might come out a couple of days after, but um, I did finally get the uh, product. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, as you can see in this set, there is a Volcanium Prism Star... Uh, there's a Deancey, there, uh, I thought there was another one. Oh, there's an Arceus, there, there might even be another one as well. Somewhere along the road, uh, let's see, yep, and a Lysander, so really cool. Oh, and a Boost Energy, so Beast Energy. So five different ones available, all the full arts, and of course the Rainbow and Secret Rares. Beast Ring and Mysterious Treasure are two that I would like to get my hands on. Um, by this point I have a Diantha Ultra Rare and a Full Art Dialga GX. I actually don't have any of the regular GXs, so... Cool, cool little booklet. Always like seeing those. Um, I'll show you guys this, just just the very inside. Just the four, the four main Pokemon that are in the set very cool wouldn't mind getting my hands on a um on a greninja either the box itself the box art is really cool there's a lot of uh a lot of cardboard in these so let me get the stuff in there that people that aren't the pack so here are the um sleeves really cool sleeves um, they do really well with the sleeves, actually. The energies, the dice, and the GX counts of the dice actually have a really cool yellow see-through dice. Die, I should say. Uh, very cool. Um, here are the dividers. Only a slight difference is that this sort of background to it, but the Pokemon looks exactly the same. And there are the eight packs, so let's just pop them there, move the cardboard out the way. Put the lid on this box here, having a little look at the four sides of the box. Very cool. And dive right into the pack. So I'm, I'm excited to get some uh, sort of dig my teeth into it here because I haven't opened uh, a whole lot yet. So um, go open, go ahead and open the Zygarde one first. I've, like I said, I've had just two full arts so far. I think I've opened, sweat this out. I've had two, three packs, but there's only two packets of Forbidden Light in those, which is ridiculous. Um, so four, a pre-release is four, and three packs, so 11. I think I've opened 13 packs. I've had two ultra rares so far, so wouldn't mind getting a couple more here, that'd be nice. So, a racing Dublay Pancham, Dupider, Fennekin, Helioptile, Flabebe, Gumi Reverse, and an Abominuslow. One of the many cards that are literally just, they've just changed the type, and it's the same card as in previous, I think it was in Ultra Prism too, so. Not personally a massive fan of when they do that, I kind of think it's a bit of a cop out. Um, just how hard is it to come up with a new 
a new artwork. I suppose technically they have to pay the the artist to draw it, but still the same. Uh, metal frying pan. I haven't seen this one yet. The steel Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from opponent's attacks. Hmm. That might be useful. A Hooper, Judge, Froakie, Helioptile, Pancham, Bergmite, Scatterbug, Oh, reverse rare Toxicroak, very cool. And a Vivalon, Vivid Powder. Your opponent's attacks form is now sleeping poison. I did see someone talking about how they they saw that at pre-release and actually did quite a lot of damage and it was quite a good card. Hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, on to pack number three. No hollows or better yet, or prism stars. And, um, <clears throat> this could be one of those. It's boxes. Let's see. Oh, an Ender Porter. Not seen one of these either. Move a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon to the other of their Pokemon. That's kind of cool. That might be useful. Gabite, Sligu, Gibble, Rockruff, Gumi, Cloncher, Hornedge, Reverse, Rare, Deantha, of course. This is one of the there's a toxic to go the other one. Uh, they've returned rare and holographic trainer cards have, rep have returned. So here is a rare reverse Deantha. So it's a hit. Pretty cool. So three packs in. Not a lot left. Not a lot to. Let's go. Let's go over here. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Hey, another green card code. So if you if you follow in the green code card count, that is uh, four in a row. <laughs> I haven't had the best luck with this set when it comes to uh, to codes. I uh, haven't really had a lot of greens. It's kind of a shame. Krogunk, Clauncher, Froakie. Another reverse rare, and it's Heatran, and an alone executor. So it's dumping up the uh, reverse rares at least, which is. Let's pop some of these to the back. I'm really hoping that I, I get a, a couple more hits. I've never had a. I've never had a. Oh my goodness! I was just about to say, that's another green code card there. I've never had an elite trainer box where I've got um, all green code cards. I have had a couple before where I haven't got a hit. Well, no, I've had like in terms of a GX. I've had a couple with a couple of. Um, hey, this is a hit. This is a really good trainer. I've had a couple with just hollows, one or two hollows, but I've I've never had all green card codes. So. I'm hoping that I can recover. There is a Dragouch E, which is actually a reverse rare and an age, so that's very cool. So, <laughs> five packs, all green code cards, but four reverse rares, so, which is some compensation, <laughs> I suppose, for the uh, lack of hits and the mysterious treasures is a good uh, item card the game so pretty happy with that hey finally a white code card so I'm gonna get at least a hollow here which is which is really nice <laughs> starting to get a little bit worried I wasn't gonna get anything so Clefki, Frogadier, Heliolisk, Flabebe, Skidoo, Froakie, Helioptile, Pancham, Reverse is another reverse rare and this is Feromosa the Ultra Beast so that's pretty sweet. And the rare is... <laughs> a Deantha Hollow. So... I actually now have Deantha in... Um, reverse Rare, Holographic Rare, and Full Art. I don't know where that would even... Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here's proof for you. 
a reverse rare, <laughs> hollow rare, and a full art. So I was waiting for this elite trainer box to store these in, so the Diantha's actually just off to the side. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so finally got to hit. These packs are like separating really oddly. I don't know why. Sorry if you didn't see that. I hope you did. So no Prism Star cards yet in this collection. So let's see if I can get one. Amora, Unit Energy, Uxi, Helioptile, Bergmite, Skiddo, Dupider, Scatterbug. There is one. I actually didn't even see it either. I just sort of thought I felt like I was deserving one. Deancy and another Vivian. So pretty happy with that. I do like the, the Prism Star cards. I haven't seen this one much in many people's openings dnc ability is as long as this pokemon is on your bench your uh fighting pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponents active pokemon hmm i feel like people will use that on to the final pack so so far five reverse rares well technically six if you count the prism star um out of seven packs so that's Pretty crazy. So just one white co-card and the final one is white also. So I will get at least one more holographic card. But oh, here we go, Arachmanid, Clefki, Frogadier, Litleo, Cubone, Scatterbug, Snova, Skrelp. <laughs> Reverse is an ink, but the rare is a Naganadol GX. Very interesting name. Goes with Poipol. Very cool card. Don't own this Pokemon in any form ever. I've never had one, so. Naganadol, so. Very cool Pokemon. It's an Ultra Beast. And it kind of saves the opening, really, because I was just getting a little bit. Anxious with the pulls, but two white cocos out of eight packs. I think that's it's just below average. It's not, it's not terrible. But some cool cards, all the same. I'm really lucky with the reverse rares. Technically, if you uh, count the Prism Star as a reverse rare, it's um, six out of eight packs for, had ultra rares. So that's pretty, had rare cards. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this opening. I will be opening a booster box. Um, probably separate it into a couple of videos um, but I'll be doing that in the next few days so thanks a lot guys for popping by please like comment subscribe and until next time goodbye